All right, uh, let's look at the homework 11. Uh, this is actually an extra video uh, to fix uh, this problem here. Uh, if you look at the current date and time, right, so it's time. So when you have uh, two digits, uh, it looks great. But when it becomes uh, a single digit, then uh, it looks kind of weird. Uh, we would like to have, you know, for example, 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 06, and so on. So uh, we need to fix that, right? So let's open up, um, uh, oh, you, shoot, right? So open up uh, uh, Notepad++. Uh, plus plus. All right, so I'm going to uh, go down to, um, let's see. So we're looking at the time, right? So here, so this is the uh, format of hour, minute, and the second. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, change a single digit into zero single digit. All right, so here, I'm going to, uh, so this is going to be outside um, uh, set interval. All right, and then uh, we're going to just uh, define a function. So we're going to say a uh, function. Right, and I'm going to name this function a uh, two digit. So this is going to return a uh, two digit numbers, uh, even though it is a, 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 a one digit, single digit. So take uh, it takes an n value and returns a two two corresponding two digit value. All right, so I'm going to put the curly bracket. All right, so here, here's the so I'm going to put the definition here. So we're going to do if, right? Uh, condition is, uh, let's say if uh, n is uh, less than 10, so which means that it's a single digit, then we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to uh, return. Um, first, we're going to put the 0. And then we're going to put the uh, n right behind it. So since it's a single digit, uh, we're going to put a zero in front of it, right? Then we're going to do uh, else, right? Then we're going to return uh, just uh, as it is. So since it's uh, otherwise, it's going to be double digit, so we don't have to make any changes. So what this function does is that uh, takes in the n value, and then checks to see if it's a single digit. If it's a single digit, it adds a zero. Otherwise, it's going to return exactly the same value, right? So we're going to use that function uh, down here. So instead of uh, hour, we can leave it, but I'm going to just go ahead and use it. We're going to say two uh, digit to use that function here. And then uh, for minutes, I'm going to do that too. So here, uh, two uh, digit on M um, here. And then for second, uh, you have a two digit. All right. All right, this way, so if, if the, you know, H, M, S uh, turn out to be a single digit, it's going to always spits out the double digits, digit, all right? So here, um, I'm going to save it, all right? Let's open that up, all right? So here, all right? So if you look at the current date and time, all right? So you can see that uh, here. Now, 9 shows up as 0, 9. And if you wait a little bit, then hopefully this is working too. And if it goes to a single digit, hopefully it will uh, give you um, 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on. All right, so you can see that the 0, 1, 0, 2. So this looks a little bit better. So all we did was uh, create a function which turns into a single digit with a 0 with a single digit, right? And so it's called the two digit and a defined up here. And then we can use it down here. So every time you have a single digit, but we want to display as a two digit, we can just put the two digit, whatever the number you want to um, uh, turn it into two digit. And uh, you can do that. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.